Hello, Boise Brave, and welcome to KBHS TV. Today is Friday, September 22nd. I'm Taylor Worth. And I'm Nick Worth, and these are your weekly video announcements. Happy homecoming, Boise Brave. Hopefully everybody had a great time with the festivities yesterday. Between the assembly, the parade, the car bash, and of course the football game, it was quite the day. A big shout out to Miss T-Trick and the entire Stuco team for preparing a fun week of activities. But the week is not over, and we hope to see everybody at the homecoming dance in the main gym from 7 to 10 on Saturday night. It's definitely a tradition you don't want to miss. Speaking of traditions, do you know about the new Boise High Museum? Wait, what? You're the sophomore and I'm the senior. How do you know about it? Uh, I know a lot of things, big brother. Take a look. Okay, right now? Okay, I'm Sandy Waters, and I've taught at Boise High for 22 years. Currently this year, I'm teaching economics and community leadership. I'm also the mock trial team coach, and I'm the director of the museum. There was just things that were dumped downstairs and kept in kind of an archives. And then Katie Shanafelt, the art teacher, started asking for things. When the word got out a little bit that we were looking for Boise High vintage gear, it started coming our way. When I decided that I wanted to start this project, I actually went around and started scavenging in like closets, teachers' rooms, old sports lockers, trying to find all kinds of gear that I could find that would tell the story of Boise High. What really inspired me was the change of the mascot. When this discussion first started to happen three, four years ago, I saw the reaction from the public and they were really concerned that we were gonna erase Boise High history. And that was something that I wanted the public to know, that we embraced our history. History tells a story and it's a very important story for Boise High. I feel like the students probably connect with a lot of the art, some of the really cool vintage clothing, some of the traditions that we had in the past. Um, I'd love for the museum to be something that the public here in Boise embraces. We've had a very, very long history, and I want to keep building on that. Boise High is full of traditions. I'd like to keep those going, and I'd like to keep you know historic artifacts coming in and keep building the story of Boise High. And then, of course, I have to give a huge shout out to my volunteers. There is no way this museum would even look this good if it was just me and my students working on it. So I really owe the alumni of Boise High a great big thank you. They are the ones that helped make this happen. It's time for today's club and event news. Mags, tell us what's happening. I'm Max Schoen Tanner, and it's time for your club and activity report. Do you have some free time on your hands after school? Are you interested in growing your friend group? If so, the Brick House might just be the place for you. Located nearby on 7th Street, the Brick House provides a welcoming atmosphere and is a cool place to hang. Please listen to verbal announcements for what's happening at the Brick House each day. Finally, we need to talk about something. If you're like me, you've been stuck behind some people in the halls who are basically oblivious to others. Here's a look at what I'm talking about. Roll it. This is Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. Mike never pays attention to his surroundings and he's always on his phone. Mike doesn't even notice the Grim Reaper walking right next to him. Oh, sorry Mike. Watch where you're going. Walking while on your phone is like walking with the Grim Reaper. It can end in deadly ways. Don't be like Mike. Stay off your phone. Well, this has been Mags, and you are officially up to date. Back to you, Nick. Let's turn things over to Brando at our sports desk. Brando, tell us the score. Hi Brave fans, I'm Brandon Armitage and it's time to talk sports. Good luck to our cross country team who will be competing in the Bob Furman Invite tomorrow at Eagle Island State Park. This race is all about epic bragging rights. Bring home some of the big trophies, Brave. 
More good luck to our swimmer squad who hosts Nampa and CUNA on Saturday morning. The meet starts at 8.30 a.m. at the ICAC. Finally, boys soccer travels to Rumble with Rocky Mountain on Monday night. Kickoff will be at 7 p.m. Be there! Well, that's your sports wrap. This has been Brando reporting. Now, back to you, Nick. And now it is time for today's words of wisdom. As many of you are aware, next Friday is the district-wide late work cutoff for anyone who might be using this weekend to get caught up. I remind you of the advice Uncle Ben gave Peter Parker. With great power comes great responsibility. Use your time and use knowledge, which is your great power. Remember, you can make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. This has been Nick. And Taylor, sharing what's up. Thanks for watching, Boise High.